Hey, this is Jimmy Reed, and I just want to get with you guys right now on what's really big in our economy in this country, and that is troubles in bank financing. People cannot seem to get a bank to give them any money, especially as an investor. So what we're doing here today is we're doing a refi here, a cash out refi. That's even uh, more unheard of. Uh, I'm working now a lot more with the small banks, the individual banks. They own two, three chains. They're family owned. And of course, we still always close with Diana, but this is a deal that we're doing down in Hood County, working with a bank down there, First National, uh, there in Granbury. And they're willing to work with investors and do cash out refis. So this is a property we bought a while back. Diana, you closed it. Uh, I think we paid 13,000 for this. And today we are doing a refi cash out for $28,000. The bank's only gonna give you a majority, again, a percentage of what that value is. I'm gonna say this property's worth about $50,000, $55,000. They're gonna come in a little bit less. But I wanted to show that the reason you need to be working with your title companies and working with small banks is to get creative because the government is not creative. And what we can do here is come in, buy a property all cash. People are fearful right now to buy all cash, but rents are incredible because foreclosures are up. Those people need a place to live. So we bought the property, it's rented. The tenant wants to buy it eventually for 55. So here's how creative we can get. The local bank, the, the little family owned bank, not only is refining a cash out today, but will later let us do a wrap. And Diana, you do wraps here at Stewart Title, correct? Yes, we do. And you do assignments, double closings, do you lend money? We do not lend do money. do not lend money. We do so, all the closings. Now, we're getting a lot of people through uh, YouTube and Internet and our websites that are now calling Diana out of state to ask her questions. Now, they're asking her questions, and they're not even closing with her. So please respect her time. But if you're here locally, or you've got even if you've got a deal in Texas that needs to close in Texas, You'll handle all of Texas, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, all of Texas. So if you're in California buying properties in Texas like they do with us on our buying bus tours, then definitely we're going to be closing here with Diana. Okay? So Diana's going to call off some documents. Now, this closing also requires my wife, Rachel, to close because this particular entity has both of us as officers in the entity. So we both will be signing today. So Diana's going to call out some of the docs that you'll hear and typically sign in a cash-out refi. Okay? So, first up. Your payment notice. Payment notice. Has all the terms there. All right, I'll just keep sliding through that way. Your settlement statement. This is also known as a HUD statement. If you've never seen one, that's a HUD statement. No big deal, it's kind of like a receipt. Tells you total amount. It looks here like we're refining, getting $28,000 uh, loan. But out of that, we're paying our closing costs and everything. So we're netting about 26,600 today. And then I signed on this one little spot right here. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I signed on this one. See, I've been doing this for 23 years. I still don't. I just sign anything. You just stick it in front of me, and I sign it. Okay. Change that HUD up a little bit. <laughs> Your All note. Right. The note. Now, this is the note, again, where we owe the bank. And hopefully, if anything ever goes wrong, they come after Rachel and not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, we are both on there because we are both the officers in that entity. Then we have the deed of trust. Yes. Looks good. Yep. Most of your information on page one, and then of course signing on the last page. Now I have an advantage, I am signing really quickly, but that's usually what I do anyway. But I also had Diana send all this to me via email, at least the HUD. So I had most of what I needed done. Now this is the guarantee. Now do I sign this one or is Rachel signing it? Because I only see her name. Rachel's gonna sign that one. Okay, so then I need the one that's got my name. They only have one for Rachel. So do I need to sign it? You do not need to sign it. I do not need yes, to sign just it. Just And there's a reason, because Rachel is the biggest majority in the entity that owns this property. So that'll still be signed by Rachel. Appraisal disclosure. Appraisal disclosure. We've received the appraisal. Now, on a cash deal, when we do cash, we've already signed three times the amount of paperwork we would ever sign for a cash transaction. So remember, cash is king, easier to do. Loan agreement, Vice no president of the bank. agreements. No oral agreements. I thought he was gonna give me a million dollars. Mm-hmm. All right. Arbitration. And arbitration. 
That's if you don't pay and there's an attorney involved, this is an issue. <laughs> the mailing address that you'd like to use for the bank? Yes, we're going to use this. And by the way, always feel free to give Diana a call to, you know, get questions answered about Texas closings that she would handle. And my new phone number, oh no, I'm just going to give the office number. Oh. Uh, does he need all this? Not for you, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like nearest living relative, well, that's my mom, don't have the address right off hand. W9. And of course, yeah, W9. Just did one of these today on an insurance policy. Today is the 27th, so July 27th, 2010. So that's all part of it. And. Attorney representation from the attorney that prepared the documents for the lender. Yep, they use their in house attorney. Limited power of attorney for corrections. Good there. Folks, this is so easy, and Diana can walk you through it. You could ask her, so what does this mean? And she'd explain it all to you, and you probably still wouldn't understand anyway. And she's probably just going to explain the typical answer, but it's basically blah, 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 blah. The key is we're going to walk out with $26,000. You can buy more properties, and we still own that property that we're doing the loan on today. This was the mineral interest. If there's any Oh, if, I de if we default, they, they get the minerals. Yeah. Non-production, no production of the minerals at this time. Yeah, that whole area hasn't signed mineral rights. Top one for me on that 4506 tax document. Want me to date this one? Sure. And phone number two, please. Yeah, they have to get a little small place for that. Back to the office number. 4506T, another tax document. This is why I like cash. Folks, this is so easy. And if you have any questions for me, make sure you email me. All of our information is on our website. And let's see, I need to sign. Initial, initial. Initial, initial. All three? Yes. This is a steward title disclosure. For the entity. Yes. Okay. Same thing again. Sign at the bottom. And complete the top that you do not owe anything for okay. anything inside the property. So none on the top line. Okay, none. Number two, none. You have no loans or liens. None. Number three, you don't own anyone for construction improvements. None. <laughs> That's one of the things we're doing too. We're going to put a new roof on this property. Good. And is there a tenant right now? Yes. We have you put tenant on number four. That is the party in possession of the property. One, two, three, Very small. Five. Yeah, I'm going to say that. <laughs> I think I just wrote on number four. <laughs> That's tenant. it. And you have one more. One more. That's awful. Also for Stuart Title, Stuart Title owns professional real estate tax services, and that's it. And there we go. That's how hard it is. Now, Rachel will come sign the exact same things, and I'm going to let her switch over here. And uh, you guys just keep in mind, jimmyreed.net is the website. Anything you have uh, in regards to uh, trainings, buying properties from us, we would love to get you into some great deals Thanks, here in Texas. <laughs> and... By the way, you can come to closing in shorts. I come in flip flops all the time, even in the winter time. Is that correct, Diana? Absolutely. Flip flops. Flip flops and jeans. <laughs> jeans, some, sometimes shorts. You know. In the winter, and usually a, a floral shirt. And a floral Hawaiian shirt. shirt. Yes, mm -hmm. I did not today. Oh, can I see the check for a second? Absolutely. This is the whole reason you do a cash out refi. I'm not even sure if I'm in the video, but you want the checks, the twenty-six thousand dollar checks. Put that back over there. And uh, we look forward to working with you guys soon. Also, check out the money show we're going to be doing in San Francisco, August 18th, 19th, 20, and 21, I believe. Take care and check out everything we have. Diana's information is on the webpage. You guys say bye to everybody. Goodbye. Say bye. bye I'm going shopping after that. She's going shopping. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, JimmyReed.net. Take care. See you soon.